Now let's talk about what the hands are doing because the hands play an incredibly important role. In fact, the whole upper body does from the shoulders right down to the fingertips. When the arms are moving through the water, you want the fingers open and slightly bent. And the palms turn in the same direction in the water. Also notice how straight my arms were. So not only were my palms turning around in the water, but I was also keeping my arms as long as possible. So I was passing them down across the top of my thighs. that when you're demonstrating this yourself on pool deck you don't have your elbows bent showing your class to do this in fact encourage them to stretch the arms down as low as they possibly can to be able to get that pull through the water which is so necessary to be able to drive the legs across in the opposite direction so the arms and legs work together they both have to drive across in the opposite directions to be able to get the adductors to work well and also the obliques, which you'll feel as you push up and try and keep that body stable with the arms and legs going in opposite directions. So with the arms, your arms are always long, okay? So fully lengthened. And your palms go the same way, okay? So your palms go the same way. So whatever you do, palms go the same way. Now, I often talk about sweeping the hands past the thighs, okay? Now, when you're demonstrating this on pool deck though, this is what often happens. The error is the arms come up here, right? Shorten range of motion, it becomes a little bit easier. So make sure that your arms are fully lengthened and cue going past your thighs, past your thighs, past your thighs. So your arms are stretched all the way down. That's what's gonna create the turbulence and the drive in the water. If your elbows are bent and your arms are up here, your arms are not deep enough in the water to be able to create enough force as you push the arms through the water. And also, if you're projecting yourself up out of the water and your hands are demonstrated up here, it's a good chance your hands will actually be out of the water if you're doing that. So arms all the way down. I say reach down towards the thighs. You want to make sure that your arms are sweeping past your thighs. And I turn the hands around, so turn the palms around. There's a lot. You know, pendulum, there's a lot of technical points to do it well. You know, with a lot of other moves, people can get going and then the technical points enhance. They make the movement better quality, more effective. With the pendulum, it's more about injury prevention and actually getting something out of the exercise uh, because it can be a really ineffective exercise, like to the point where I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. What am I supposed to be feeling? That sort of activity. So just make sure that you nail all those points. When I'm teaching pendulum in a class, because I do, uh, for example, in a track of music, I'll have the pendulum appear, say, every chorus, for example, and there might be four or five choruses. I tend to focus on one aspect of that. And then when I go to the next chorus, I'll remind them of what they learned in the previous chorus. Make sure your foot's back into the middle, you know, bring it all the way in and you're on your toes, right? So I want you to check that you're lifting up with the side of your foot. Lift up with the side of your foot and focus on keeping your eyes at me. I know I just asked you to lift the side of your foot, but don't look to see if it's happening, eyes forward. So I just keep layering on the technique as we progress through that particular song, rather than dumping all of this at the start, because there's very little chance that people are going to remember. And how boring will that be? How long are you going to do pendulum for, for example? So that's how I do it in, um, I suppose, in a practical sense. I don't go, do this, do this, do this, don't do this and don't do that. I focus on one aspect. I and mean, clearly the most important one is getting the arms going in the, in the opposite direction to the legs. And the next one is getting the body to drive up. So that's that's where we start. Then I start talking about what the foot is doing. Then I talk about what the arms are doing, talking about the posture. And I might go something about the foot, something about the arms, something about the head, then go back side of the foot, make sure your palms are pushing through the water. So every time I talk about the pendulum, I'm focusing on something different and I'm not repeating myself. Make sure you're bouncing straight up and lifting your leg to the side. Like, come on, guys, work hard. Like, I, 
like those sorts of things can be a little bit repetitive and that's when people switch off and they don't pay attention to you anymore and they don't see you as an expert because you're just on hit repeat okay so focus on something a little bit different each time you bring up the move and then you're enhancing their experience and it's a lot more interesting